feeling a little short in the cam today. I'm just <laughs> they'd be looking a little short. Oh fuck. Why did I put my phone? Sorry. You're good. Woo! Okay. Hey. Do you uh, want to explain what we're making today? We're making a Ghanaian. Ghanaian, it's spelled Ghanaian. Yeah. <laughs> Ghanaian spinach soup with sweet plantains, and it's a recipe that I saw in New York Times. When I looked up spinach stew, Ghana, the word like contamire came up, so I think that's what it's called mm. in Ghana, but I think the New York Times version is a little bit simplified. The other ones I saw, they put in like mackerel into the stew, whereas we're gonna put in shrimp um, to ours. But yeah, it's a tomato based stew with spinach. Um, Blended up pumpkin seeds, shrimp, and boiled plantains on the side. Delicious. Yeah, pretty excited for it. Me too. I'm going to start some water going to get the plantains. Yep, yep. Okay, I'm going to start crushing or chopping everything up. So we need one red onion. I'm really excited for this. I think it's going to be good. Me too. I think it's going to be really good. Um, it calls for like a shrimp powder. That's an African ingredient. We did not have that, obviously. So we're using um, fish, sauce. fish sauce and liquid smoke because apparently it's supposed to be like a smoky flavor in it. So, yeah. Taking mm. ah, me out. Okay. The red onion smells so good. Okay. Oh, I'm on chopping duty today. Feels kind of well, nice. Do. Get that going. Um, we're gonna. I'm gonna pulse the pumpkin seeds in a food processor to a fine, fine powder. Mm -hmm. How much? I think it was three fourth cup. Three fourth. Feel free to use the rest of that bag. I think it'll just be the rest. Yeah. Not quite three fourths, but had that fine. bag for quite a long time. <laughs> so I didn't even know we had it. So it is time they go. That says anything about that. I used it for my granola for a while. Oh, that's right. But I haven't made granola in a minute. Hmm. Does this say how much it makes? Four to six servings. A should, should we, we have it? Yeah, let's have it. And then that makes more sense with the amount of the seeds, or with the pumpkin seeds too. Okay. Well, I'm gonna just cut up, <laughs> cut up the rest of this onion. I mean, but put it in the onions, bag. onion. You know, it's fine. You think it's okay with double the onion? I'll just put it in a bag. Okay. We got bags. I will eat it in my salad tomorrow. My salad. Delicious. Hello, Ready Bro. From Hi, bone Bro. marrow to spinach, this is correct. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were like, hmm, maybe we should do something a little bit healthier yeah. today. Hi, Jimmy Kiva. Hi, Jimmy Kiva. The gang's all here. Um, Diane, do you want to mute. mute real quick while I get this baby blended? Yeah. I've never cooked with like pumpkin seeds before. Like Me either, blended up like this. Yeah. I've ordered, I've been to an African restaurant before and ordered um, a goosey stew, okra, a goosey and mm. fish stew mm -hmm. with um, fufu. And it makes sense now why there's like, yeah, there's like certain like, not grittiness, but there's a certain texture to it mm. that like makes sense that you blend something like this up. So. Yeah. Very interesting. This is my first time. This is your first time making African food? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Look at us coming out of our Hello, comfort zone. Hello. Hi. We're good. We are good. It's a Monday. It's like a long time since we've seen each other. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like it's a Monday, really. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. When the tomatoes are... Oh. We have to start reducing tomatoes once you're done chopping that. Um... Well, I mean, that's really it. Dang. Yeah. How much else? I think we just had to boil it for quite a while. It yeah. Seems like. Mm. Just the like tomato? 15, 25, 15 yeah. to 25 minutes total. Not bad. Not bad. This is the, what, the, uh, Goosey slash blended up pumpkin seeds. Yeah, you can see it's quite a fine powder. It says before it becomes a butter. Just enough for it to clump together, which it is clumping together. So. Super interesting. It does say in a Dutch oven. Should I have reserved this pot for it instead? Unsure. Maybe. I guess. We can I cut can. up the plantains. Yeah, I'll just cut it in half and then boil it. Yeah. In this smaller pot. I've never made plantains either. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I've made plantains before, but. Come on. Why does this front one never work? It freaks me. Oh, gosh. Did it work? Yeah, but it just combusts really yeah. big and then it yeah um can you just cut this in half yeah i think we peel it too right um we can put the whole thing in and then peel it afterwards mm. or we can peel it before doesn't it doesn't matter. matter i'm just gonna put the whole thing in okay cool or does it specify No, I don't think it matters. Mm -hmm. It doesn't even give us a recipe about boiling it. But I guess you, you boil it. Just boil it, yeah. <laughs> I've... Not a big deal here. Should we just oh. boil the third plantain? Oh, I guess we don't have room. It's fine. What else we want to do with the plantain? It's all right. We don't have to put it in our salad tomorrow. I was... yeah. So they use palm oil. I'm just going to use avocado oil because it's the only neutral oil we have other than vegetable. Uh -huh. I'll just spray here. Thick. Like that. Not maybe. Well, I guess we're going to do this in front of you guys. So. Yeah. This. It is hot. Careful. Do you want to um, oh, there's something in here. throw in the onions, garlic, ginger, chili? Yes. Okay. Onions. Oh, it's still pretty hot. Yeah. Ginger. I mean, garlic. And then since we're having it, I'll reduce the garlic. It says three tablespoons. I think this was a little bit more than one, right? Yeah. We'll do half of this. Make it spicy. That's ginger BT dubs. Yep. Our pre-minced. All right. Um, I gotta put in the chili. Yes. Deseed those suckers. Heck yeah. It says habanero, but we got Thai. Yeah, we were considering buying the habanero, but it comes in a big pack of like, 
had to have been like 15 in there. Yeah, like, we're lot. not going to do anything with this amount of habanero peppers. Oh, yeah. How many does it say for this? I think it's one. Oh, so then one Thai chili should be enough because Thai chilies are spicier. I think. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Put in the pepper. And this is a couple pinches of salt. Woo! So I'm just gonna evenly season this. Until the onions are golden brown and sweet. About 15 minutes. Oh, oh wow. wow. <laughs> the way we both, oh wow. <laughs> Do you like it when food is spicy? We, I like it when, we both like it when food mm -hmm. is spicy, but I would say our, our food, or our spice tolerance is not like the highest. Yeah. I would say it's not bad, but. Not extremely high. Yeah. <clears throat> I feel like my perfect level of spice is like a mild medium. <laughs> Maybe a medium. I think a medium. I would say mine is a medium. I feel like Diane gets pretty ambitious with her spice tolerance. I do. I like, I feel like I like the sensation, but then I feel a lot of pain. Afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> well. It's a pretty simple recipe. Yeah. What I saw other people when they were making the contamere, sometimes they boiled eggs and put it in it too. Mm. Sometimes they did like a scrambled egg flour into the stew. Flour? Like oh, the, the flour. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was, sorry, F-L-O-U-R is what I was thinking <laughs> in my head. And then, yeah, lots of interesting, un interesting things I saw people do with it too. So I think there's probably a ton of variations on this. Mm -hmm. That makes sense, just like a spinach and tomato base and then mm -hmm. however you want to. Um, my brother always eats Korean noodles. They are so spicy. Too much for me. Oh, yeah. The fire noodles. Those are very, very The fire spicy. noodles super spicy. Shin ramen is not too spicy for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like shin ramen's level of spice. Shin ramen level of spice is good. Yeah. Comfortable. Yeah. yeah. Comfortable but still spicy. Mmm. Smells good. It does smell good go wrong with just garlic all the aromatics basically oh I think that's it wow yeah and it's nice I was like oh should I just get the bundle of spinach but it's the same price as the bag of spinach that's pretty washed so I'm like oh, nah, no, I'm just just need the pre-wash throw her in mm, smells good it smells delicious it's interesting that there's no like spices going into it there like isn't onion other than like the fish sauce. Wow. That is surprising. When I was looking at the notes. Um, people didn't really like, people said it was good. So I don't think that like it needs anything. Mm -hmm. We can always just taste it at the end. Yeah. And see if we yeah, need to use anything. Daylight savings. Mmm, smells really good. Yeah. Man, 15 minutes on these onions, huh? How long do you think it's been? Four. <laughs> I was like, until 7.35. Okay. I like that D is posing for us. You want to explain to them the food you had this weekend that was good? Oh, yeah. Ooh, on Friday, mm -hmm. I went to, I didn't even realize it was Michelin starred until I got there, like a Michelin starred Mexican restaurant called Oxo Moco in Greenpoint, Brooklyn. It was super good. Oh my God, like tears in my eyes good. So first thing that we got was their guacamole, which is like super basic, but they're just like well known for it. 
It was delicious. They like had their own like corn tortillas that they left whole and like put it to the side of the guacamole. Guacamole had like Oaxaca cheese and then these like blistered tomatoes. That was just really, really good. Sounds delicious. Um, and then the second course that we had was, not course, the second like dish that we had, they just brought it out like separately, was like a tlayuda, which is like, the waiter described it as like a Mexican pizza. So it was like a fried tortilla, like a bigger tortilla with sweet potato puree, like a purple sweet potato, mole, which is like a chili chocolate sauce mm -hmm. with cilantro, case like, like a just melted cheese pretty much in cilantro. It was just so good. Like the mole was delicious. That was I like, love mole. Yeah, I think that was like one of their most well-known dishes there. So it was just so good. Like everyone talks about it on Yelp and it's worth the hype. And then we had their lamb tacos, which was really good. Honestly, it's just like what it tastes like, like what it sounds like, lamb in a taco shell. <laughs> and it had like zucchini flowers on top. Not fried, but just fresh zucchini flowers. Mm. A really good like salsa verde on top too. But the star of the show, other than the sweet potato tlayuda, was the dessert, which is so delicious. It was a brown butter curd, um, which is kind of just like a custard, but a little bit harder than a custard. And then on top of it was oranges, like fresh oranges, orange slices, and a blood orange granita. So it like really cut through the richness of the brown butter curd and like complemented the blood orange granita, like mm. the sourness of the blood orange. It was just so good. I love brown butter anything. Mm -hmm. And with the mixture of the granita, which is like shaved ice pretty much, it was just delicious. <laughs> Casually strolled into a Michelin star restaurant. <laughs> yeah, very much New York things. Um, yeah, I honestly can't tell the difference between like great or good guacamole. I can tell when it's like not good, um, but like I don't really know when it's like good or like I feel like it's usually good to me. I don't know. I've never had like elevated guacamole, so it's like as good as like the blistered tomatoes and stuff like that sound. I've never like had guacamole like that. I've only ever been to just like a very like normal Mexican mm -hmm. restaurant, so. I do feel like with the guacamole, it was one of those dishes where I was like, mm, I can make this at home, where mm -hmm. it's just guacamole with blistered tomatoes, but the other stuff could not make at home. Yeah, I want to try to make that tlayuda, but mm -hmm. it was just so good. Guac, mostly just quality of ingredients and balance of things. Yeah. yeah. Um, I feel like everybody has different preferences in guac too. Mm -hmm. And then on Saturday, we went to dim sum with some friends. Oh, it wasn't dim sum. dim sum yet. But it was just because there's we such were, a long yeah, line. Yeah, we were trying to, but. At Nam La Tea Parter, Parlor for the people in New York. Mm -hmm. It was probably going to be like an hour long wait. Just yeah, the line, and it was like, not moving yeah, while we were waiting. So too. far down. Um, rookie mistake by going at like 1.30 because it's just I like time, time on the weekend. Um, and we went to Noodle Village. No, no, no. Yeah. No, Noodle Village? Uh -huh. Yeah, Noodle Village instead. It was quite delicious. I think my highlights were the... <laughs> actually, the cruller that we had was actually it's really so good, good, right? We dipped it into like wonton soup and mm -hmm. it was just so good. Um, the beef chow fun was super good. I think the beef chow fun was my favorite. Really? Maybe it's because I just like haven't had it in a really long time. It was very straightforward, but I just love beef chow fun. Yeah, it was so delicious. Yeah. Um, we had soup dumplings and they were actually really good soup dumplings. The soup dumplings were really good. Like the skin was super thin and mm -hmm. you could see through it. Um, so many Good plates. amount of broth. Broth. Yeah. Um, oh, the, we had clay pot rice and it was the just clay so pot was really good. good. Yeah. They, we had like pork belly and I would say Chinese that was like sausage. my second favorite. Yeah. yeah. And then the rice at the bottom just got so, so crispy. crispy. I feel like when I was first eating it and just eating the top, I was like, okay, this is like what I expected it to be. Yeah. <clears throat> but then once I got to the bottom, yeah, of the crispy rice, I was like, hell yeah, it was, it was so, so good. good. Like, it was so crispy to the point where I can, like, I lifted my the spoon and the, the whole, whole thing, thing, like, yeah, crusted up. It was so good. Uh, do we have anything else there? Chinese broccoli? Chinese broccoli. Good. <laughs> wonton noodle soup. Even though that was, was uh, reviewed by J. Kenji. Kenji Lopez all. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was just wonton soup to me, honestly. Oh yeah, Ready Rose says it has really good wonton noodle soup. It was good, but also it was like, it was just wonton noodle soup to me. I wish I was more broth. Yeah, there wasn't a lot of broth. Maybe it's because we got a small and they like really packed it in there for us, but. 
Yeah. The wontons were really good, though. The wontons are very yeah, good. Yeah, like very springy shrimp. Mm hmm Yeah. I wish, or I don't know, I think I'm just not a big wonton noodle soup person anyway. Mm. Like, the thin noodles. Mm. I like the wontons, but I think, yeah, it's just like not my favorite dish in the world. I like wonton noodle soup. <laughs> Hey, this but looks really that good. It's pretty normal, I would say. My parents used to make wonton noodle soup a lot. Mm. And we always had the fried cooler. Mm. The fried cooler yeah. was actually really good. I was like, I don't know what I expected, but it was just really good. Yeah. I feel like the broth, maybe because I'm used to how my parents make it, but my parents make it quite like porky, I guess. Hearty. Mm. And like topped with like a lot of black, like black and white pepper, stuff mm. like that. Herbs, per usual. Vietnamese. Um, do we need to salt the water? I don't know. If you want. I feel like it makes sense too. Just a wee bit. Okay. Oh, oh thank you. Um, yeah, lots of good eats this week. <laughs> ate out a lot, yeah. Yeah, I ate out a lot last week too. Um, <laughs> It's just, I feel like, especially now that it's, like, cold, it's, like, hard to think of things to do other than eating out. And yeah. just, like, I feel like every everyone's really been on their, like, oh, let's try nice places, like, phase, I feel like. So yeah. I feel like usually it balances out in terms of, like, not that they're not nice, but they're just, like, not, like, upscale places mm -hmm. versus upscale places. But, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Tell them about Namkeen. Oh, yeah. Um, on Friday, I went to eat at this place called Namkeen. It's a fried chicken place in Williamsburg. Um, and it's like a fusion between like just traditional fried chicken, like fried chicken sandwiches, not like fried chicken like wings and thighs and stuff like that, and um, South Asian flavors. So I got their um, chicken sandwich, and it was fried chicken like Big fried chicken hanging over the buns, drenched in this tikka masala sauce and mint chutney, and then over like a coleslaw, like cabbage slaw. Buns were brioche toasted, buttery, soft. Sounds really good. Ah, uh, slightly sweet. It was so good. Dang. And then um, Hi, got Minnesota. their fries. Hi. What's on their fries? Um, we got the tikka fries, so it was similar. Like, they had bits of, like, the fried chicken, um, the tikka masala sauce, the mint chutney, and then it was seasoned with, like, <gasps> gutta masala and, like, things like that, like, that type of seasoning. Sounds so, like, good. even just the fry itself, minus all the toppings, was so good. Nice. <sighs> yeah. It was only 12 bucks. Oh, really? The chicken sandwich, yeah. Wait, I'm going to go. It's close to Vital, isn't it? No. Oh, damn. It's not not close, but it's not up there. It's, like, straight across. Oh. Yeah. All right, I'm going to throw in the tomato paste. Yes. You think, I think we're good. Yeah. And the golden brown ones. Yeah. Oopsie. That sounds really good. Yeah. Quite delicious. And then on Saturday, we also went to Hu Tao Li. Just like a Chinese, I don't even know what kind of Chinese food it is. Sichuan, mostly. Did have a lot of Sichuan stuff, yeah. Yeah, um, it was really good. We had an okra dish, which was really delicious. No, the okra was so good. Honestly, it just felt like a regular like brown sauce, like oyster, soy. The black sugar. beans. Oh, black beans and pork. Like the fermented black beans and pork, and it was really good. Um, we had like cold sliced pork belly and chili oil sauce. It was super good. The chili oil fish was really good. Very spicy, but not too spicy like Szechuan Mountain House. Um, what else is there? We got noodles. The noodles were just men. Yeah, the noodles were like, felt they like were, something yeah. I can make at home. Yeah. But the other shit, I could not make at home, which I liked. Yeah. Oh, and then our friend, it was our friend's birthday, so they got a cake from... Takahachi Bakery. Takahachi Bakery. I it just was... got a TikTok of the place, too, and it oh, looks really? like their other stuff looks really cute, too. Oh, so. really? It yeah. was so good. Enjoy it was like a Becca. matcha mousse cake with two layers of matcha. The inside was, I think, just like a cream, like a custard cream. Yeah. 
Um, also, are these all the tomatoes? Mm-hmm. Do you think it's too much? Do we have to? I don't. Half? I don't think so. Cause it's not. It isn't that much, yeah. Yeah, it's not okay. that much. All right. I'm frying off the tomato paste. I am peeling the plantain. Taka Becky Bakery. That's right. Okay. That cake was really good though. Usually I'm not a fan of mousse because it's like really rich. Yeah. Um, a little too rich, too uniform in, oh here. Mm -hmm. Uniform in texture. But this one was so good. Yeah. It was like not too rich, but still creamy, not too sweet. Delicious. Yeah, it was so good. I'm adding the tomatoes now. Yeah, I would get that cake again. That was so good. <laughs> do, do, do. I just want attention. Okay. Adding the tomatoes. It says to bring it to a boil, but there's no <laughs> liquid. <laughs> I'm sure the tomatoes will seep out a little yeah. bit, but. Add some salt. Turn this baby up a little bit. Oh, the plantains look good. Mm-hmm. Plantains. Wow, very culture today. Hey, Luminous. Hi, Luminous. How are you? Been a while. We were just talking about you. We were. <laughs> Not just, but like earlier today, we were talking about like, dang, because we were looking at the suggestion panel. By the way, guys, we've done pretty much most of the suggestion panel. Like, please, if you guys have any more suggestions. Yeah. Um, do I think put them in the chat. We will prioritize subscribers. Yeah. I um, think the ones outstanding are beef wellington yeah it's just a little difficult to do yeah <laughs> and, and then the sticky yeah. apricot chicken <laughs> i think i should add water yeah just to get her going if anything we can just boil it enough to evaporate it if it gets mm -hmm. bit dry so adding some water mmm that's good does look good I'm gonna crank her up a bit bring pot to a boil plantains are good mmm mmm mm. should I just do the other one yeah just do it too That thing takes way too long. Beef Wellington, oh yeah, it'll be like a six hour stream or something. A goosey stew and foo foo. Yeah, this is technically, I don't know if it's a goosey stew. It's contamere, but it does include a goosey, yeah. which is the pumpkin seed puree. Um, we wanted to try to find foo foo today, but we couldn't find like the foo foo mix. Yeah. And, and we have the plantains for like the component, starchy component, so. Or carb component, more like. You can make your own fufu. Oh yeah. We it's looked like, it up and you said it was something fermented though, right? Yeah, it looked like it was fermented when I saw the recipe. Yeah, plantain and cassava. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's fermented when I was reading. It's not fermented. Oh. What? Damn, we could have bought that cassava flour. That's fine. <laughs> um, need too much TV magic, the beef welly stream. <laughs> mm. We can try another time. Yeah. It won't be our only time making African food, so. Yeah. Lower the heat to a simmer and cover. I'm going to add like a tiny more tiny bit more water since it'll take a minute. When do we add this? At the very end. Hmm. The 
This is a recipe on New York Times, by the way, if you guys were curious mm-hmm. or wanted to try making it yourself. Because as intimidating as Ghanaian spinach stew sounds, very easy. So. Yeah. <laughs> and nothing that you probably don't already have at home, honestly. Or, like, can't act mm-hmm. as in a normal grocery store. Oh, I have it up already. Also, I think because it's like New York Times, they have like made the recipe a little bit simpler. Mm-hmm. <laughs> cool. Stir in water a tablespoon at a time to the bowl of a goosey powder until it is a loose paste. This is like at the very end. Mm. Interesting. Into this, or you pour this into that, and then until pour water into, into this, this, and then pour it on top of that. Mm. Cook it for five minutes, and then stir it together. Really interesting. It is interesting. Ah, <sighs> trying to think of what to talk about. A lot of idle time in this recipe. Yeah, lots of boiling, boiling. Bowl. We got shrimp on the side. I want some protein. Yeah. I suppose this is a variant to the... Eritrean? Oh. A goosey stew. What does Eritrean mean? I've heard it, but I don't know what it means. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Well... Can we just sit? I'm tired. Yeah. I'm a tired woman. Yeah. Okay, we started boiling it at 73 degrees. God! Okay. (laughs) By the way, if you guys are curious what we're talking about, our, like, alarm clock, not alarm clock, our digital clock on the side over here that we keep glancing at, um, there's a mode where it, like, either just stays on the time or it does, like, time, date, temperature... Mm-hmm. And every time I look at this clock, I swear it goes to temperature. And it's because we had to change the time because of daylight saving time. We don't know how to change the mode back. I can find it. <laughs> uh, and it says it's 73 degrees, but it's definitely not 73 degrees outside. Where does Gosh. it think we are? Oh, 73 degrees in our home. Oh, that makes yeah. way more sense. Oh, okay. Well, why do we need to know that? <laughs> why, why do we need to know that? <laughs> like, I already feel the 73 degrees. <laughs> why would we need to know that? <laughs> Long press plus... <laughs> to switch the display mode. This on the <laughs> we got nothing else to do. Why is it boiling so long? Down a little bit. Okay, I think it should be fine now. Okay, cool. Oh! <laughs> this is not fine. It's not Diane if she doesn't drop it. <laughs> what? It's not Diane if she doesn't drop it. <laughs> you know, I saw a TikTok about having low regulation, and it was like four. I don't know. It's like some type of like mental function, LOL. And it was like, yeah, do you like trip over things really easily? Do you bump into things all the time? Do you cut corners when you're walking into things and bump into the corner? Do you drop a lot of things? And I was like, (laughs) I thought I was just clumsy. Yes. And they were like, you might have low regulation. But then I looked at the other symptoms and it was like more like lack of attention to detail. And I was like, I do sometimes, but I feel like not on a regular basis that it affects my life, you know? Attention to detail. I don't think you have yeah. well attention to detail, though. Not going to lie. I'm a good business worker. So <laughs> I think I have high attention to detail. Can you guys make a pilaf? Um, I don't think we have the ingredients, too. I know it usually uses, like, a certain type of rice, right? Is it, like, kind of like basmati, but not? Um, we do have dry ass jasmine rice. <laughs> we do got some dry ass jasmine rice. There's so many pilaf. There's all types, right? Yeah, let me Isn't look it on. just kind of generically like a seasoned rice? Mm-hmm. Don't they have it on like hamburger helper? Yeah. 
<laughs> Peel off. Armenian peel off? Let's do African. Then is it just like a jol off or is that only a specific country? I'm not very well versed yeah. in. Yeah. Rice peel off. With pumpkin. Oh, that sounds good. Pumpkin. Oh, bomba, arborio, or long grain white rice. Currants, allspice, cinnamon. Oh, this mm, looks good. That does sound good. Oh, my mouth is watering. I'm hungry. Watering. The peel off, I know you cook the entire meal in a pot, a deep pot, then you flip it onto a large pan. Oh, Ooh. tadig. T A H D I G. Tadig. Or something like that. T A. Or maybe that's not how you say it. H D. Whoops. Let me look it up. Maybe that's maybe I made that word up. If so, I'm sorry. No, you're right. I'm Crispy right? Persian rice. It actually looks really similar to what um, Illuminous was saying. Oh, yeah. that looks so good! Yeah, it's like in a pot and then they flip it over. I'm sure it's just another name for. I'm sure a lot of countries do that. Um, oh my god, I like went to this restaurant in um, Philly with my family, and it was a. I want to say it was an Israeli place, mm -hmm. um, but they also had a tadig, and I don't think that's what they called it, but no, it was, it was, mm -hmm. and it was so freaking good, and they like served it with like a lamb stew, and it was really mm -hmm. good. Rice was so crispy. We should try making that one day. It had like saffron in it, mm -hmm. it was really we good. We have saffron. We do. Let's try making it. Um, Wow, the jollof rice is not too hard to make. Two tomatoes, habanero, onion, bell pepper, curry powder. I feel all that stuff. Cayenne, bay leaves. It's too late to start making oh, rice. Oh, yeah, now we're making rice. <laughs> Maybe next time we make another African, African dish. dish. <laughs> we're just like, <laughs> how, long is it? how long does it have to go for? Oh, was that Zahab in Philly? Been meaning yes! To go for wow. Been meaning to... It was Zahab. It was so freaking good. Like, probably my favorite Middle Eastern place I've been to. I need to go one for day. For sure. Um, upside down. I'm looking it up on my app. Chicken... Maha Sarsour. Oh, yeah, this looks what good. Is that? Look how long it is. <laughs> um, Why, Illumina scent for the upside down chicken and rice. Mm. It has eggplant, chicken, cardamom, cloves, cumin. I want to learn how to better cook with all the those types of spices like cardamom, cardamom mm -hmm. clove yeah on wednesday we're going to be making a sri lankan dal or lentil curry dish mm -hmm. and that one also has like cardamom yeah. cloves a lot of spices i was thinking about it mm -hmm. but isn't it crazy how like so many of spices are like distributed widely in a lot of different cultures like mexico sometimes like south yes, america has yeah. the same spices as and like, like Viet vietnam has, yeah and like waka has all that stuff and south asian stuff. i think about that too or when recipes have like soy sauce yeah like in, like african recipes have soy sauce in yeah. them the spice trade so interesting the silk road says illuminas like when when did these get incorporated to these recipes? I know, and what did right? it look like before they had access to I this know. Because yeah. like a lot of those dishes are that? very like based in yeah. like, those spices now. So the spice Very drink. interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Human history. That is it done yet? I feel like it looks pretty good. You it looks pretty it? stewed. <laughs> I feel like it's been like fifteen minutes, right? Yeah, actually. Yeah. I think it has. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm gonna just mash her up a little bit. I need to stand up. I can't see. I'm too short. Mmm. <laughs> it smells good. I mean, right now it's really just uh, tomato and garlic. And yeah. 
So I'm sure it tastes good. It did say, didn't it say something about like the consistency of tomato soup? Rich tomato soup consistency. I feel like this is kind of tomato soup consistency. I think so. Should we do it? Mm, good. I think it'll taste better with the fish sauce in because it needs some more salt, but. Okay. Uh, when the tomatoes have reduced, um, add the shrimp powder. Slash fish sauce and fish sauce. <laughs> and a little bit of liquid smoke. Because we don't. How much fish? Fish, <laughs> fish sauce? A I spoon? mean, two. It's just a sum, lol. I was gonna do a it's spoon. Just, yeah, just. That is what. And then. Maybe a little bit more, actually. Um, yeah, it's liquid smoke. I'm just gonna do two drops because it's, yeah, it's really strong. strong. Yeah. Um, yeah, apparently the shrimp powder that goes into this is smoky. Smoked dry shrimp powder. I would, re I would replace liquid smoke with Worcestershire. Oh, that's We don't good have too. Worcestershire. <laughs> What's Worcestershire. <laughs> Let me look at that. Lots of good ideas, Illumina. This is why we need you on stream. I know. Ooh, this looks good. I'm not going to lie. You missed a few good ones, though. You did miss a lot of good ones. Oh, fuck. Dude. Oh, I think that's what it was. Kind of. Yeah, there was like, oh, fuck, there's cheese in it. Yeah. I love when, like, places put, like, cheese and pistachios together. Yeah. Like, I love Middle Eastern places. Like or, like, des cheese and dessert. So busy, so so busy. Busy. that makes sense. Okay, do you want to taste it? How much shrimp powder was supposed to go in there? Four teaspoons. It's good. I do think it needs more salt. I don't know how like fishy it's supposed to taste. You want to taste it? Yeah. I don't think it'll hurt to put more fish sauce in, but. That's the Vietnamese in me talking. Mmm, let's put in more fish sauce. Okay. That's good. It is good. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna start preparing the agusi. Um, the agusi. <laughs> <laughs> agusi. E G U S S Y. <laughs> I saw this TikTok today where it's like, did you know that when you call someone a pussy, you're, it's not after like a vagina, it's after the word and i don't remember the words like puss a little or something like that <laughs> what that mean <laughs> and it's like oh and the word means like to be like fearful and like not courageous oh. or something like that <laughs> but i meant a pussy cat okay i've added water to the agussi <laughs> god uh, it's supposed to be a loose paste pretty thick right now it's a thick paste yeah so i will add a wee bit more water Oh yeah. So cool. Pumpkin seeds, I never mm -hmm. would have known. Last week I also went to um, Buna, Buna Cafe in Bushwick area. It's a vegetarian, or I think it's vegan actually, um, Ethiopian restaurant. Mm, it was also it was very, good. very good. Yeah, very similar to what we had at DC, mm -hmm. but I would say obviously no meat. <laughs> yeah, I do think the DC one was better. Yeah, because I like the meat dishes, but yeah, yeah. Do we think that this is Pink. not a loose? That's definitely space. a paste. Yeah, just go in. in. Okay. Pu yes. Wait, how did you know this, Alumina? Pusillanimous. Yes. <laughs> Pusillanimous? Yeah. Pusillanimous. Might as well just grind up some of the dried shrimp. Oh, should we do that? That's a good idea. That's genius! See, Illuminas? This is why we need Illuminas in our streams. Yeah, we do that have... is genius. Always. For some more umame. Jimmy Kiba and Illuminas. Jimmy Kiba knew Pusillanimous. How did you guys know that? I guess it was a word on the SATs. Do you think that... The, the slang pussy came I don't before think so. pusillanimous. I don't think pussy's after. I don't think pussy's after that word. But I just thought it was funny <laughs> that he like said that. You're so smart about the shrimp. Genius. Oh, 
Oops, I dropped one. I'm just going to chop it up. I don't know how much to do. Because we did already put fish sauce in it. Yeah, I don't think we need that much because we're putting in real shrimp too. Yeah. Real shrimp. It's just grounded up shrimp. Oh. Maybe it started that way, but doubt that's evolved <laughs> intent of the use. Yeah. <laughs> Quite true. I think we can also put in, so let's put in the shrimp. Mm hmm. Stir it in a little bit. Mm hmm. And then it says to put the agusi paste on top of the tomato sauce, spread it out, cover the pan, and cook it for five minutes. So, so almost like how we did that, like, um, Korean dish like that we did love. Yeah. 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 Isn't that interesting? That is interesting. Okay. Put the lanimus. How do you even use that word? Okay, just put in some of that. Genius. I'm gonna put in the real shrimp. Or yeah. should we wait for the? Maybe let's wait. Wait, like two yeah, minutes. so it doesn't get overcooked. Okay, now put your past in. Put the past. The past. Oh, igusi. Igusi. How long? I feel like shrimp takes like two minutes to cook. Yeah, right? it's like two minutes. Igusi. Maggie, do you want to take a photo of this? Photo. Wait. Wait, 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 <laughs> wait, wait, okay, go, okay, it's really trickling, sorry, let me go faster, <laughs> I can't really spread this baby on top, maybe I loosened the pace a little too hard, it's fine, I'll cook, this is so interesting. A gussy. Interesting. Okay. I had dyslexia with a goosey. I thought it was a sugi. <laughs> I think it's a goosey. <laughs> it is a goosey, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, five minutes. Okay. I'm gonna wash these. So oh, I'm sorry, Becca. <laughs> no. <laughs> Here you go. Shrimp on the bobby. <laughs> it was romantic. <laughs> really gripping her shoulder. No, you're not. <laughs> it's like really gripping her shoulder. <laughs> Is it coming off? Yeah. Okay, cool. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Hungry. I'm so freaking hungry. Look at this uh, vegetarian meal, Becky. I know. Except for the tiny. Oh, just kidding. We're putting in shrimp. Pescatarian. Pescatarian. There goes our shirt. <laughs> we'll say. We do still have to put the shrimp in. We can put the shrimp in the shrimp. The, um... oh. We need to put the spinach in still. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> Should we just do one bag? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Spinach. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so much I What's Northgate? Yeah, what is Northgate? Watergate. <laughs> Wait, you guys don't have Northgate? Is that a mall? That's what it sounds is like. Is that a market? Is it a movie theater? <laughs> is that a mall? Is that a market? Is that a movie theater? <laughs> is that a... Mm, I don't have anything else. No other M words. It's a Hispanic market. Oh. oh. What did you get? What were you trying to make? Has it been five minutes yet? No. I ate a one. Oh, God. They have a giant. Ooh, Ooh. that sounds good. I don't, I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if we had one I didn't know, though, because I don't know. I feel like I'm not as in tune with that stuff. Sign. 
this old giant slab of deep fried chicharros and fresh wow. black bug. This is so good. We might. Are there many North Gates? <laughs> Do you wear wigs? <laughs> what? Do you know that meme, Becky? Say it again. Do you wear wigs? <laughs> no. Do you wear wigs? Yeah. No, I don't think so. I'll send it to you later. Wow, these plantains look good. <laughs> what? <laughs> Whoa! Why don't you just do the third one too? Why did you? <laughs> Why is this one so not yellow? I don't know. Maybe it's just not as right for the other ones. Do you have wigs? Can't believe you don't know that meme. It's a Cali thing. Oh. Oh. Yeah. If we're ever in Cali. Now we know. Cal God, I just love Chicha. girls. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? I was going to say I love Chicha. California <laughs> girls. What is that? Do you know what I'm talking about? Uh -uh. In the city. Oh. But. Is that? <laughs> yeah, it goes California. <laughs> Love? <laughs> I don't think it goes, California girls. <laughs> it's like in the auto-tune. It's an auto-tune voice. Uh -huh, honey. Da, 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 da. In the Nails city of LA. Party. Check in the shop bricks. So Hi, you're so high. Now I'm really thinking. Were you finishing the lyric or were you talking about Northgate? <laughs> <laughs> Hiya. <laughs> I think Northgate. Okay, right, 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 good. Okay. We made it. Now what? You say stir it? Stir it all together. It should be a thick porridge. Oh! Oh, here, I'll wait. Good. Oh, interesting. It is a thick porridge. Okay. All right, let's stir in the shrimp first. in there. Chicharron. Let me click on your link. Illuminas. Oh, wow. It? That looks good. Oh, that looks good. Just to help the shrimp get along. Mm -hmm. And then we drop in the Ooh. spinach. It says add a splash of wool up and bring it back to a boil. That was a solid splash. It does look like kombiji. Uh huh. But this is this is what I was talking about. How it's like the certain grittiness. So it's mm -hmm. not gritty when I ordered it, and now I understand what it is. That's what Are you guys cold today? <laughs> because we're both wearing <laughs> we're both wearing sweaters. It was a little gross out today. Yeah, in New York. it was gross out today. We like just we like came back from the grocery store and like immediately started streaming basically. So. Uh mm huh. -hmm. It's chilly outside. It is chilly. Shall I spinach? Yeah. Yeah, I think the shrimp is close. We're gonna add this whole bag of spinach. Really get our greens in. Yeah. You wanna add another splash of water just to help her steam up? Yeah. Make sure to taste your dish. Yes, yes. You always do. It smells really good though. I feel like the dried shrimp actually really helps. I think it would. Thank yeah. you, Illuminous. As I always. smell it. Yeah. Okay, and we're good with all this stuff. Mm -hmm.
Looks like you're making a soul food dish. It's a basic no meat agussie. Agussie. Yeah, this is our first foray into African food. I think we should definitely try doing an oxtail dish sometime yeah. too. Yeah. Because our um, grocery store has like a whole aisle of like oxtail seasoning and like mm -hmm. jerk stuff. So yeah, we should try making a jerk dish. Yeah. God. It's been a while since I've had jerk chicken, but I love jerk chicken. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. let's see this baby going. We'll take just a bit. Oh yeah, it smells good. Do you need more water? Let's, yeah, could you? Thanks. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that looks so good. It does look really good. You can leave it open now. Yeah. I like just let the water come out a little bit. <clears throat> how jerk we talking? Charcoal. I don't even know the beginning of how jerk chicken is made. Yeah. Oh, you've made jerk chicken on your stream before? How'd it turn out? Oxtail consomme. That sounds really good. Charcoal crusted? Yeah, I literally don't know how jerk chicken is yeah. made either. I'm gonna give it a taste. Good. Mmm, the shrimp definitely adds to it. I think it needs a little bit more salt. Yep. You think? Yeah. We did add a lot of wool and the spinach too. Mmm, so. it's good. It's good. I am surprised that it doesn't really feel like it needs like something. spices. Yeah. yeah. That's actually really good. Not even pepper. You talking to me? You call me a jerk. <laughs> I think we're good. Yeah. Cool. I'm just gonna spoon some on. Well, it doesn't matter that the plantains are cold. We can just microwave, microwave them real quick. Yeah, that's a good idea. Can you throw them in? Oh, smart. Let's get a video of it. A gussy. <laughs> wow, it looks good. It looks legit. Oh. Oh. Why is my forearm not strong enough? <laughs> Let me double fist it. Wow, that looks good. Okay. Oh, I'm excited to eat it with the plantain. I know, me I too. I think it'll be really good. A little bit of sweetness. Diana's weak forearms. Oh, hi, I hate pizza. Hi. Oh, yeah, it's been a while. Um, I do have weak forearms. I got forearm pump for the first time ever. You got Last what? forearm pump. You know when like your muscles pump and they like feel oh, really hard? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got forearm pump for the first time last week when I was climbing. And I was just like, whoa, my, arm, my forearms are huge. And my friend was like, yeah, you got to be careful not to make it too, not to make your forearms too sore because you're going to have trouble wiping. And I was like, oh, <laughs> but he was like, yeah, just something with the angle. And I was like, that's hilarious. Oh my gosh. And then we'll move this thing out of the way. Yeah, this looks really good. Yeah. Quite excited. Lots of spinach. She needs to do Pilates in an 8 and 90 degree room to get stronger. This is uh, it's been a while since I've heard that. Feels good. Does feel good. Spinach. Spinach. Okay. More of this stuff. Oh, God, smells really good. Yay. Mm. Very exciting. Show you guys excited. what it looks like. I will take a picture for the gram. Oh, if you guys can really see. Very good. Can you kind of see? A goosey stew. We'll post a pic on our um, Instagram as well. Yeah, that yellow plantain looks so good. Yeah. Cool. Pretty excited. 
excited. I'm gonna do one of just this first, give it a taste. Mmm. Another reason why the days are superior. Very true. The vanilla for our pups. <laughs> Bye, Chef Rick Samurai. <laughs> Thanks to Illuminas, what do you mean? Mmm. Mm. That tastes good. Mmm. Mmm. It's really good. It's good. I really like it. Yeah. I would, I feel like I would make this again. Mm -hmm. Considering it was so easy. Mm -hmm. mm. I guess I'll just do what you do and bite into it. Tomato stew with a goosey. Mm. Check your chat history. Oh, if only you guys have food proof. Oh, because <laughs> the luminous. Oh. <laughs> How jerk are you talking? Mmm. I like it. Mmm. 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 Mm hmm I really like how gingery it is. Yeah, it is quite gingery. Quite good. Mmm. I feel like that makes up for it not having a lot of other things in it. Mm-hmm. The spinach in it is really good, too. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. And do a shrimp. Shrimp is good, well cooked. Mmm, I like the spiciness too. Just like a tiny kick. Mmm. Mmm. Plantain is quite good. Mm. I'm gonna add some chili flakes to it. I feel like it should be spicier. Mm. Oh! Mm. Mmm. This is really good. The spinach. Mmm. I really like I like the texture of how the seeds felt, like, mm -hmm. kind of up. Yeah. I actually do really taste how much we caramelize the onions. Mm -hmm. It's actually really good. Ew. Mm. Ew. Uh -huh. Ew. Ew. Mm. Ew. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I lied. Okay, now I'm done. Mmm. Mmm. Ugh. That was really good. Yeah. Also, definitely taste the shrimp in it. It was mm -hmm. really good. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Illuminous. Thanks to me, Kiba. <laughs> the bus, you. You can't my sneezes. <laughs> That's funny. I was like, machine gun. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Mmm. Mm. It's so good. I really like. You're right, the seed flavor mm -hmm. is good. Pumpkin seed, pepitas. Mm -hmm. It's interesting because I didn't love it in the other thing we made, the soybean one. Oh, like the gritty texture? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It doesn't, it's not as, I don't know. It's not gritty the way it was in soybeans. Mm. Also, fish sauce is good. I do mm. wish I had some sort of like, yeah, like the fufu to like, Mm -hmm. Soak up the sauce. Mm. Mm. That tastes out duper good. Mm. What a healthy meal. Uh huh. Not a beige thing on our plate. Who is Chef Mike? Was I missing something? Mmm. Mmm. Uh, the pepitas are supposed to be very healthy for you, too. Mm, they are. Wow, that was really good. Chef microwave. Mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, I miss you. I hate pizza. I know. I like. I feel like if I hate pizza, said it, 
Chef Mike is some sort of meme. Mm -hmm. I was indeed right. It was a meme. Mmm. Mmm. I like really like it. I just had a big old bite with the stuff, with the plantain. It's mm -hmm. actually really good. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. I don't think I could eat more than one plantain, though. It does feel quite heavy. Full. Oh, like the other... Mm -hmm. You think you can only eat... You're saying you're full after that half plantain? <laughs> what? I'm going to eat more. <laughs> you don't have to. I, just, I thought you meant like one full plantain. <laughs> uh, not going to lie, though. It would be really good if these plantains are fried. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking the same thing. I'm like, I think that defeats the purpose. Caramelize it a little bit. Sprinkling of brown sugar, just a tad. Mm. Sounds like you need to surpass your limits. This is correct. Maybe for the remaining plantains, we mm. can just do a little bit of mm. a caramel treat. Oh, yeah, I am full. Mm. It'll go away. It's just vegetables. <laughs> it's literally just spinach, yeah. Taking a break. Mm. This is good, guys. Yeah. Honestly, even though we didn't use the African shrimp powder, and I only chopped up the dried shrimp, the little bites of dried shrimp are really good. I think it's really bites good. Of the dried shrimp. Do you taste the smokiness? No, me neither. I think we would have needed more liquid smoke. Mm -hmm. It was a pretty big pot of stuff, so. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm zoning out. That was really good. Mm. Mm. Yeah. It's a really good, like, comforting meal, mm -hmm. too. Really getting our greens in. We are. We had, we're each having, like, half a bag of spinach. Yeah, and, like, a ton of tomatoes. Our, um, garlic, ginger, both very good for you. Prebiotics. Yeah. Pepitas, very, also very strong. Yeah. It is so freaking good. It's really good. And I don't feel bad about it. Mm -mm. It's healthy. Even though when you look at it, it doesn't really, other than the fact that the spinach is green. Mmm. Quite enjoy this. The bites together with the plantain. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Also really like the shrimp in it too. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Okay, I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna be hungry in like an hour though. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like anytime we decide to do like healthy streams, we're always like it hits like nine o'clock and we're like, hmm, kinda hungry. <laughs> So much spinach. Now they have a consistent or er, constant forearm pump like Popeye. <laughs> forearm pump. My forearms are so weak. Same. I didn't even know that, I don't know, people worked out their forearm muscles. How do you? Oh, mm. they're climbing. There's like, oh, this is climbing, but like at Vital, they have a whole wall full of like grips to have people practice mm. their grip and forearm strength. <laughs> mm. Okay, I'm full. Mm. Why is it so good? It's so simple. The fish sauce, man. Mm. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Wrist curls are just like this. Oh. Ooh. Oh, that does not look fun. What are hammer curls? This? Isn't it like this? Like this is a bicep curl? Mm -hmm. That was a hammer curl? A wrist curl though? I feel like if I pass someone doing a wrist curl at the gym, I'd be like, dang, that guy's crazy. Mm -hmm. I would do like a one pound weight. like. <laughs> Mm. 
Mm. Wrist pulls are what you did. I can already feel my forearm kind of sore mm -hmm. just from doing this. <laughs> Great flavors. Mmm. Emmerichels are when you hold the dumbbell and raise your forearm till it's parallel to the floor. Oh. So it's down like this and then like this. This. Am I doing that right? Mmm. I never work out my arms. <laughs> I feel like for a period of time I was doing those like mm. weight training, circuit training classes things or whatever mm -hmm. and be like full body and but a lot of it would be like arm like not a lot but like half of it would be arms which makes sense it's like half your body but um and then I feel like every time like after that I'm like dang my arms are kind of big even though I was doing like 10 to 15 pound weights but I was like I need to stop <laughs> Muscle I'm pump. Not trusting the process. I'm gonna slurp up this juice. It's so good. Mm. I'm full. Tired. Well, guys, I think that's it. Thanks for joining. Thanks for joining. See you guys Wednesday. We're making a Sri Lankan coconut dal curry. Yes. Is it a curry? Yes. Or is it cool? Okay. Okay. See you guys. Okay. Bye.